Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Anastasia. I'm a personal shopper as a stylist and this is my London Chronicles haul videos on my favorite brands. And today I'm covering one of my favorite brands, Arkit, and their staples that are so useful for any capsule wardrobe. I love minimal style, but to have a good minimal style you have to do a little investment in your basics that you're gonna wear every day and Arkit is one of the brands who is the best in doing this. My first outfit that I'm wearing right now, as you can see, is this uh, mall color, darkish beige color blazer and I have the trousers in a stretchy cotton with a little kick flare bottom. All the items I'm trying on today are in a size 34 this is my regular size so this is going to be UK 6 if you need a bit bigger you need to go for your true size some of their blazers come oversized but they perfectly fit so you don't need to actually size up in them as you can see it's perfectly oversized the placement of the bottom is in the right place and this outfit would be so great for any transitional time from your spring to pre-fall into fall. I have to say, I already have the same blazer in black that I bought previously and I'm loving it. So these are the trousers. I possibly could have sized up a bit in these trousers. They fit really tight. They remind me of course, as you know, uh, Kohl's and uh, other stories and Arkets are all the same brand but Arkets and um, yeah, Kohl's are more for a bit older and sophisticated people who already know uh, what they need in terms of clothes so they don't do trends too much and they would always like create only one or two items in a perfect combination of a color so usually they you would get just two colors one dark or one black so one would be for people with a fair skin and fair complexion and blonde hair and some some other colors for people in a darker complexion and darker skin tone or, or both of them you can actually wear if you're like medium I'm a medium um, in terms of coloring and not too dark, not too fair so um, but I usually go for the creams uh, and blacks and beiges when I pick outfits for myself Trousers have two pockets on the back uh, it's they're just on above your buttocks line what do they do actually is they yeah they create a flattering effect on your bottom sorry I have a label here I'm also wearing some layered necklaces here this one is uh, by Dior a uh, plain chain necklace and a square pendant and I have some chunky earrings for fall and for pre-fall and for winter and especially when you want to use lines that are a bit bigger like oversized blazers I recommend you to use a little bit more of your jewelry pieces and you can slightly oversize them so this would be really good uh, going out option uh, of course you wouldn't wear it every day it's a bit heavy for every day opt for something a bit lighter or for some um, stud earrings but make sure you add metal because it will make your outfit very sophisticated the composition of the blazer is 100% wool and it looks really sleek although it has a texture and uh, yeah basically um, it adds it looks really sophisticated and expensive because they use really good materials so they use a fabric from Italian factory here and you can see the label and what I like that I uh, you know when you look at the color everything is made like very very professionally but because they're quite efficient with their production I guess these blazers are not too expensive at all so they come at 130 pounds 135 or 150 which is a really good price when I was on a hunt for some blazers I tried some at Celine at Yves Saint Laurent and all of them had some issues with the quality uh, or with the cut it's not always easy to find something that works this is my blazer that I got a few days ago in black as you can see it also has the same fabric and I like that it's just slightly oversized but not, not too much 
So some item like this is good because uh, it could work you day to night. You could easily wear it for work. Uh, in my uh, London days when I was a working girl in the office, I did it all the time. I would wear blazers to work. Then you just change from your from your sneakers to your heels, add some makeup, add some jewelry, and you're ready to go. I'm so happy. Style is back to like 10 years when uh, it was very similar. <laughs> if I could compare it to a feeling that I get uh, when I try other brands like the ones that are a bit more on the high street this just gives me a feeling of so much comfort I can see how well this is tailored and yeah I have to say it's it's a really really good price for what it is it is really a luxurious blazer my next item that I'm trying on are these organic cotton sweatpants and this would give you an idea that a blazer like that that's slightly oversized could be also one with the items that are slightly on a sporty side it's not the style that everybody likes but if you're up for it you can definitely try try it on I have them in a light beige creamy color and I'm wearing them uh, with my toes loafer and because the line of the blazer is slightly oversized everything works well together a fitted blazer would not work with this combination and here I'm gonna try it for you again with the mole color blazer roll it inside and you'll have a different effect my next item in this haul is this um, best-selling v-neck jumper in cotton it has uh, stripes I really like how well it is designed and uh, I'm quite amazed at how the finish is made on on the sleeves and on the bottom of the jumper it's a super quality I'm just um, I feel that I'm really upset that I won't be able to wear a jumper like that because I live in a really hot climate but for anybody who um, yeah who lives here in Europe in the north in the UK it's uh, so flattering I'm not wearing anything underneath as well it has a really good structure as well and um, because it's made of cotton it shouldn't be too hot when you wear it and it also says that it could be washed in the machine uh, if you put it in a bag of course for the protection i want to try it i'm trying it on together with a sweatpants and i want to create a super sporty outfit so i'm gonna try these new sneakers that i got yesterday by superga everything organic don't panic everything everything is very organic organic cotton why is it a thing organic cotton because to create white cotton everything has to be bleached and uh, the chemicals that has to bleach the natural organic cotton are quite harmful to the environment and to the people who work at the factories producing the cotton um, that's why a lot of brands are now using the organic unbleached It is really cute, I have to say. V-neck, the V-neck, the proportion, uh, the size of the stripes are not too big. That's the usual problem that many brands do. They do the black stripes that are too big and it doesn't look flattering. Uh, so this is just perfect. The length is good. So yeah, if you're wearing a lot of jeans, this could be a really, really good option. Yeah, I'm loving, I'm loving the shoes. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, when everything is really uh, monotone uh, in color, it's important everything to have a good uh, texture and shape. And these little black lines, they come really helpful at creating this nice definition. My next item is this leather skirt. Oh my god, the smell of it is so incredible. I love uh, the way it feels, I love the way it sits. So it's made out of big panels big four panels it's important for a um, skirt like this or a mini skirt or a leather skirt not to cut 
the line in a flattering way so this is made really really well and let's take a look at the belt the belt is really smooth as you can see uh, there is no extra top belt and there is just a little over stitch on the bottom um, of the skirt um, yeah just so without it it should probably not look as good uh, I'm wearing a size 34 and I'm pairing it with the mango loafers that actually are called navy so in this combination it <laughs> works and uh, with the striped top that was here before The first thing is uh, one zip that is on the back. I think it is lined, yeah, it is uh, slightly lined. The lining is not fully attached. This would allow you very comfortable feeling under your skirt. Back in the day when I just started my personal styling and shopping business, uh, the skirts like those uh, were really, really popular as well. And uh, I remember clients requesting a lot of them. item in this haul is this beautiful silk shirt I think it was inspired the idea of the shirt was inspired by Totemi because they introduced these pajama style shirts that were worn indoors and outdoors uh, but this is actually looking a little bit more sophisticated because it's a bit more fitted I'm just looking at the composition yeah it's hard silk silk the print is light green on top of the cream cream of white and uh, the bottoms are made of the poly poly buttons i would probably pair it with trousers as well where i live i don't wear skirts as much unfortunately because we just have to keep with the modest attire a dress code uh, but here for london that would be amazing i could wear it with a skirt i would probably go for some chunkier boot here uh, something with a platform or something that could be even uh, higher at the knee right now i as you can see, I'm pairing it with the same black loafer and I love the effect. It's silk, so it's supposed to uh, be not as breathable as other fabrics, but it feels really, really lightweight. So I think it would wear really well, but you have to be careful uh, with it, with the care. It's uh, recommended to dry clean. item in this haul is this really oversized fit cotton t-shirt with a uh, washed off effect it is slightly more transparent than the regular t-shirt would be the composition is um, let me double check it's a uh, half linen and half cotton yeah that's why it has this slightly linen effect it looks really lightweight and very very relaxed so uh, for somebody who is smaller on the top part of your body, um, this could work really well. I'm slightly broader at the shoulders and smaller at the bottom. So maybe not the bestest combination for me, but I like the comfort, how it sits and uh, it looks like a very, very versatile piece. I remember back in the day, I had a t-shirt by T. Alexander Wang and it was one of my favorite ever t-shirts. I wore it so much. It was so soft and versatile. It is really soft as well and I believe it should wash really well so I actually might consider um, keeping this t-shirt as well it comes really long you can actually wear it with with any type of like legging uh, type of uh, denim uh, jigging and uh, yeah for any of your styling needs you just tuck it in inside at the belt and you have it mm, it's really cozy probably also knot it in the front if you wanted to create uh, the split between your top and bottom part and have a crop t-shirt this looks really cute and now of course you want to know which color would look best in this combination of black and white if you want to add your blazer the black blazer with a black blazer you create um, two blocks or three blocks because your skirt also has a different texture to your uh, blazer but I think it will look even better if you go for a third color um, combination this would be just amazing using three colors always gives you more sophistication and yeah just looks really really smart i'm gonna add my uh, bag that i got from mango it's very similar to 
the back by Bottega Veneta. I might be buying Bottega Veneta, but I'm just waiting for my delivery to arrive. My next item in this haul are the leather trousers. Of course, you were excited to see them. You know my obsession with leather trousers. You've probably seen my videos on them before. Let's look at them carefully. So these are made of really big blocks of leather and that cuts your leg just below the knee. It has a really classic uh, cut. It has uh, the overstitch. The cut is basically like denim, very similar to denim. The ones that I had before, they were a bit more similar to the actual uh, trousers and they had a cuffing on the bottom. This one instead doesn't have a uh, cuffing at the bottom. It only has some uh, thickness, so a double layer of the leather and uh, reinforcement just to make it a bit more you know, structured and uh, the actual hem is raw, it's a raw hem which is really curious, I've never seen it before about around three years ago I traveled to New York and I reviewed a lot of uh, premium leather trousers from the stores uh, like Barney's and Saks Barney's is no longer there unfortunately and as I can see they are slightly curved just to enhance the fit I guess because yeah it's really hard to cut a leather trouser that would suit everybody but which, what is a good thing about them that usually it stretches pretty well so if you're a bit tight you can go smaller size and it will stretch out it's not like denim you're not, you're not gonna wash it and it's gonna become uh, smaller so you can't make it smaller and it's gonna be quite uh, difficult to do any kind of alteration so I'm making sure you get the right size is is really big deal actually I'm trying a uh, size 34 here for you very smooth inside lining is almost through the whole leg with them um yeah you don't really got get too hot in a leather i can tell you because i live in the middle east <laughs> it's a very hot climate and i never get really hot in them there's something about it that makes it work okay beautiful can you see me in full the length is actually perfect although i'm you know me i'm i'm a bit of a short girl it sits right um, at the middle of the ankle a bit shorter perfect and it's not even tight so um, the actual fit is really straight not fitted at the hip and not fitted at the knee very very straight very comfortable fit uh, somebody might say it's a bit less flattering than the ones that have tighter fit I'm missing my pockets I really like pockets that I had on my uh, leather trousers uh, but this one looks really slick really modern yeah there's everything here to find flattering I guess here I'm actually <laughs> uh, just gonna wear them with my flip-flops I think it's gonna be a really good combination so you all if you also live in Dubai like me or Abu Dhabi that's what I do all the time I wear it with the Oren and it looks really smart and you have a bit more of your leg down there which I always love and I find it super flattering use a bit chunkier bigger accessories when you use less colors to use a little bit more metal and make sure you have statement accessories and i'm wearing it with the loafer it also is chunky slightly oversized and gives me a better definition in less in less color combinations and here is the time to show you my favorite trousers that I also picked up a few days ago and I think they're my super favorites okay so here are the trousers I think they create the most perfect bottom it's like you know part of your leg it's just uh, cut so well and I really like how slick it is without belt um, it's just so sophisticated so well tailored and uh, priced very well 
for what it is. I'm gonna be trying on some uh, totemic clothes a bit later in a day. So for 90 pounds, this pair of trousers, I think it's just insane. It is like best woman's tailoring. As you can see, it's not fitted. It just creates very beautiful bottom, slightly curved. Slightly cropped, very, very sophisticated look. Together with side pockets, these side pockets on a size that actually make your waist definition much better, in my opinion. And you also have the, the back pocket. So this cut is actually very similar to my uh, own leather trousers because they also have the side pockets and the back pockets, similar to this one. And for a super sophisticated uh, night outfit, I am wearing it with this with this top. It's by Mango. Uh, you see it in my Mango haul. I'm gonna just wear it again because I love it. And the way I'm pairing it usually is with tan shoes like these or in sandals or anything that is similar. You want to add some pop color to your bottom. You can add green that is very trending right now or you can do white shoes as well or you could do Manolos and I have the black blazer on and with a close up you could see that the differences in a the fabric they recreate nice the differences to the complexity of this outfit and um, yeah, I have some layered necklaces here, chunky earrings and um, yeah, I'm gonna finish it off with my favorite sunglasses and my handbag. That's everything. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put a thumbs up on this video uh, if you like the outfits and uh, tell me what is your favorite style of them all. Thank you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!